Hey guys, I'm Rebecca Ropes and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming today. I have a great video for you. Today we're going to talk about how to decorate or essentially accessorize a built-in bookshelf, any kind of display shelf or decorative cabinet that you have. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I will teach you the principles that you'll need to know in order to make your home beautiful and all of your shelves in your house look fabulous. I've always loved the topic of accessorizing, I mean, across the board, but especially when it comes to built-ins and bookcases. To look back at my homes over the years and even some of the projects I've designed, I can see how my taste in accessorizing has evolved over the years. I still like to accessorize in odd numbers, but I would say I've gone from what I would call the busy look to more of a sublime, peaceful look something that has symmetry, balance, and doesn't make me exhausted when I look at it. It just makes me feel rooted, comfortable, and at peace in my home. If you're looking for something like what I've been doing lately, and even in the last five, six, seven years of my career, it's way more balanced, clean, and peaceful. So let's go on into the other room and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It'd be kind of interesting to start with what I would consider a non-traditional bookcase. It's not really a bookcase, it's a display shelf. I call it the ladder and it's been in my home for years and I've always been a little challenged with this. Part of the reason is I believe there's like 11 inches for each one of these shelves so whatever goes on here needs to be particularly short. So in this case I thought all right what am I going to do? This, the edges of this are black. So the black base here kind of, it adds height to this piece, which is why I like to use this thing because it adds height to a corner that, you know, has nothing going on. Bringing it down, it's an artificial little green plant, but look at the white vase, the bowl that it sits in. It brings some life over it ties in the color of the wall. It also ties in with this little guy down here. Now this is a piece of marble with this brass bird on it. I don't know, I've always loved this little thing. I'm probably the only person in the world that loves it, but I do, it's brass. And look, I now play up that same feel with this small painting I have. This is from a Tulsa artist and I just love this painting of the bird. And these colors are reminiscent in the accessorizing, the pillows, the rug, and everything I have here in this room. So this gives me a chance for color. And I just literally just sit it there. Might put this in the middle, put this to the side, this to the opposite side, so they don't look like it's just stacked one on top of the other. And on the bottom, I have my grandmother's basket. It was her sewing basket. I just love the top of it. It's also a functional detail because I put my little Lutron shade uh, remote inside there. If I'm not using my phone, I can always use the one that comes with the shades. But I love how the colors in the painting connect somewhat with the colors that are on the basket. So there is a repeating of a matter and just one thing at a time gives me a beautiful little simple vignette over here on what I would call a bookcase. For example, take a look at the um, shelving unit that I put in one of the guest bedrooms at the Cliff House project. This is a, a single piece and it did not need to be symmetrical or have a repeat of different things, but just have a repeat of a theme. Everything was white or off-white. Shades of white. Horns on top that created a bit of balance were white. And also bisque white pottery. But I'm able to lay those out in a beautiful kind of random pattern, but because there is a consistency in the materials I used, it doesn't feel as busy as let's say, take a look at this project where the books are all different colors, all the things that are inside this, and this is in a bedroom as well. Why does this one look, well, dated for one thing, but look way more busy and a lot going on? Well, it's a pretty old project and that was in at the time. And I was using vintage things that meant something to the homeowner. However, look how peaceful that can look 
when you pay attention to the items you're putting in and connecting the colors and the textures. How does accessorizing your built-ins or your bookcases change when you have a pair of bookcases, or in my case, display cases? Number one, the bookcases or display cases are identical. Number two, Use items where you can pick a material or a finish and repeat it throughout the bookcase. That kind of gives their, that a sense of this flow that goes through your bookcase. Also, you want to mirror on one side what you did on the other side. I chose to use brass in here. I mean, it's an obvious choice because of the brass framing of these pieces of furniture but I have a brass candle on the top. There's brass on the second shelf. On the third shelf of vases, I included one brass vase. And on the bottom, there's not brass, but there is what I call a mandrake. I don't even know if it's a mandrake, but it has that golden, oaky tone that sort of pulls that brass back in again. So brass is one of my elements. What else is on there? Well, you're gonna see the color white. We start with three white candles at the top. I love these. These are the Pottery Barn battery operated ones. They're amazing. If you're interested in buying them, I think I have them in my Amazon storefront. You can check that out. We'll put a link in the description box below. Then as we go down the second shelf, there's no white, but on the third shelf, there are two white vases mixed with the brass and they're actually two different colors. One is a real off-white and the other is sort of a sandy bisque. And I thought that the difference in that texture, it's so subtle, but when you look up at it closely, you'll see it's just enough to bring some interest without making the eye exhausted because you're trying to figure something out. Now, when I say mirror your, your matching bookcases, over on this side, you're gonna see that there are three vases. One that's taller, one that's in the middle, and one that's lower. Bisque, white, brass. And on this side, I also have, in this case, it's white, bisque, brass. But I've laid them out in a similar pattern where the brass is on the inside. Again, it gives it a feeling of balance and a pairing. They weren't identical, but they were similar. And again, the beauty of doing bookcases or built-ins, like I said, it gives you a chance to decorate your walls on up vertically. The only other way you can decorate vertically that I know of is either with a wall texture or a piece of art. So this gives you that 3D tactile look without being exhausting. Something to keep in mind when you don't have lighting in your bookcases, by putting these candles up here, it does give me a little bit of a light source. It's not as much as I'd want, but I do have some spotlights that I've aimed on these. And because they're glass shelves, the light will come through. So placement is important. Take a look at this. It shines down a bit of a shadow. As I push that back further, it gets darker. As I pull it forward, the light hits it. Same thing with my bird. Do you see right there? The bird is in the shadow. If I pull this brass bird up, it gets lit. What about built-ins? Built-ins are permanent. They're not something you can move around from house to house, but does it change the way you accessorize them? Not really. I mean, if you have a single built-in, it's like having a single bookcase. You are more free to do random things however you want because you don't need to balance it out and make it look like another one that's right next to it. There are so many ways to do it. I think before I even show you what I did with this single bookcase here in my music room, let's take a look back at some of my client projects over the years because boy, do I have built-ins. <laughs> Perhaps the largest built-in I've ever designed. I believe this has got to be, I don't know, 14, maybe 16 feet tall. It is huge. 
And though I designed it to have a symmetrical feel to it, you can see that the accessories that are inside are very, very much different as it goes down. But this was a really fun, I mean, for this is in a hotel lobby. So having something that's super busy and colorful and interesting is great because you're only there for a short amount of time. You wanna make a big impact. But what I want you to see here is on the left and right, these are restoration hardware cabinets. They're very dark and of course they do not come with lights. So the only way anything was ever gonna show up in these cabinets is if I used white or off-white. Here's another example. This is my home in San Diego. What I want you to notice is the accessorizing. There's a great painting in the center that's sort of the focal point. Across the top of the entire bookcase is all white books. Whether they're turned around, either direction, they're all white. But what's really important here is to the left and to the right, you see the gold leaf. There's super, super heavy panels, but they went on either side. So I'm playing up the symmetry in this built-in and I am maximizing the texture and the colors that were in the room to create a very peaceful, beautiful look. All right, so you can see that a single built-in has got its advantages. I mean, it does make it easier. In this case, this house, this is almost 100 years old, and it came with these kind of nooks and crannies. And I, when I bought this house, I thought this thing was really cool. I have since had kind of a love-hate relationship with it. It does have the little pegs on the side with movable shelves. So I decided to do, okay, every time I show any of my bookcases or my built-ins where I've turned my books around, I get all kinds of hate. And I'm just sorry that you guys don't like that, some of you. I mean, it's a really small group of people that don't like that, and so don't do it. It's just what I do because I'm not looking at these to read again, but what I use them as is a geometric line. See all of these black lines? Because these are black bound books. They're all in black and they have the black edges, but then the white, different shades of white on the pages. So imagine if this was turned around, how many different colors and metallics and words Anytime my eye sees this, it goes to read what it says. That's not why I'm in the music room. I'm in here to listen to music. So I was kind of upset, not upset, bummed that none of these have lights in them. So here's what I did. I decided to put lamps, okay, in my built-ins. Now this one, this is a lone lamp. It's my crane lamp, you guys remember this? The brass, again, is so perfect with the colors I used in my living room right next door. But here was the interesting part. The depth of these shelves was not deep enough for me to set a lamp on here without it falling off. So what did I do? There is a, a piece of glass under here, a big thick one just like this, that is sitting on the shelf that takes, basically it takes the bulk of the lamp but it expands its foot room. And I don't think anyone would actually notice that that thing is protruding beyond the shelf, but that's what made it possible. And the last thing we need to talk about is a pair of built-ins. So what you're gonna notice here is that in this room, since these built-ins are absolutely identical and so symmetrical in where they're placed on the wall, that in my opinion, kind of mirroring the accessories that I put on one side, first off, it just looks good, it looks peaceful. Tell me what you think, what do you think it looks like? But I also think it's very easy. It cuts down on all the riffraff that we can have on our shelves and it just makes it look really stylized and sophisticated. Now, just think back a minute and a half ago, you were looking at the single built-in in in this room. I'm now gonna take that same thought process, that same design style, and I'm gonna stylize these two bookcases to go well with that one. What did we have? We had black and white. We also had a beautiful fiddle leaf fig tree right next to it, so there was the green, there's also gold. 
So here's how I was able to very simply decorate and stylize these built-ins in such a way that would bring me peace, go very well with the single built-in, and create a great, you know, exiting point when you leave the music room. I start up here with the books that are turned around. I have a fresh plant up here at the top and then one here again at the bottom. And I actually just put these both on the outsides. Sometimes I'll put one here and one here. I don't even know why I did it that way, but I did and I like it. But the best part about it, I've got these decanters and they have gold on them. They're just the clear and the gold. And that brings in a little bit of that brass look that's on my other lamp. The last thing is I have these lamps. They have, they're actually acrylic with coral inside of them. But this little rectangular shade is perfect in this very narrow shelf system. So by adding outlets underneath here, I can have these on either side and it gives the room a balance of light. Over here you'll see that I did the same kind of thing by adding a lamp. Now I had an electrician install some outlets underneath here, which is great. The cord goes down, but this is how I'm able to illuminate these bookcases since they didn't come with lights. All I have to do is say, Alexa, turn off music room. And I don't really think I'm doing my job unless I remind you again this week that we have the digital platform of resources called the Design Sessions, where you can delve into every one of these topics way deeper. It's where I teach you everything I know. So don't forget to check out the Design Sessions. There'll be a link in the description box below. So wasn't that fun? I hope you leave me a comment below and let me know if you learned anything new today or what really stood out to you. It's kind of fun to go back through all the old projects, wasn't it? I love doing that too. There's still so many great principles that we can learn from. All right, you guys, I will see you next time, next Thursday at two o'clock, where I'll bring you more ideas on ways that you can make your home absolutely beautiful. See you next time. And of course, these are set up just like the others to say, Alexa, turn off music room. Rude. <laughs> Alexa, turn off music room. Alexa, turn off music room. Apparently, she likes to be yelled at. <laughs>